Hi guys, RJ here, and this is Promotion Power number 22. I might open all episodes like that name, Promotion Power. Um, and you'll see here that we start off with the transfer window being closed. I'm really sorry anyone who suggested players who didn't manage to pick up. These were sort of pre-recorded, so you would have had to mention them quite a bit before. Um, so otherwise, though, I will take on your considerations for next transfer window. So if do these people you want to buy don't feel that I've got to say, let me know. Just let me know, and I'll look at them. You know, any time in the season. And I'll like, take your views on board. But um, going back to the series, you'll see here that we get a message off Cardiff saying they want me to be the manager. I'm like, no. Um, obviously, I've done so much with Nottingham Forest now. It'd be a shame to leave them and everything. And obviously, kind of cancel out the whole promotion power thing and everything. So I decided to um, stick with Nottingham Forest, surprisingly enough. And I'm going to the next game against Bristol City by playing literally everyone we've signed. Ak um, Akpa... Um, <laughs> Who else have we signed? Um, Big Ring, um, Mc Monacana, um, lo loads of good um, players. And we, we start all of them um, because I just fancy seeing what that was all like and then I can compare them all as one because I tend to, if I have a new player on, like say when I had Lucas Peters on, I tend to pass the ball to him a lot to see what he's like and then if I mess up with him, I think, oh, he's shit, isn't he? Because he's like lost the ball once, which is my fault, but I'll blame it on him. So we're having a complete new team. You... I can't actually judge anyone really because uh, like everyone will be new, so it'll be like a different way of playing with everyone. And I was looking forward to it. Like I said, everyone knew it would be on. I was like to see how I'd play and if I'd invest in my money properly because really you don't actually know until you play the um, games and anything. And if we did win this game, we could have potentially moved up to ninth, I think. As you saw there, Cardi was only two places below us, so I don't know why that for I would be the manager for the job. Obviously, they can sense that I am the special one, the chosen one. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, we went in at half-time here, nil-nil. Um, players were playing well. It was a good performance. I didn't give the ball away too much. Um, created a few chances, as you see there, one of the shots that we had. But, unfortunately, we couldn't put a ball into the back of the net. So, I had to look at half-time and decided, should I make a change? I'm not too sure. I decided to take Anderson off for Ward Price just to kind of beef up the midfield a bit and then I can spread people out and everything and change people a bit so that certain people are in each position and... So yeah, let the team attack more, move Vil Hainer up and that. And it actually paid off quite well. You'll see here in the 54th minute, Quintero picks up the ball, plays in Big Ringham, who gets actually really, really lucky there. He falls over, he stops the ball with his head, gets back up and then scores. And then all the defenders are like, baffled by, oh, where's the ball gone? And then he obviously scored by then, so they couldn't do anything. But yeah, and that was the only goal of the game. Um, so it was very, very lucky. Um, I'd, like I said, I didn't feel that we played well, so I didn't feel like it was unjust or that that lucky goal was only based on luck because we did have quite a lot of chances. And as you said there, everyone got a pretty good rating, par like the odd player. Um, even the defence got quite well. Gu Guano got 8.4, Quintero 8.1. I think I saw Vilhena get 8 point something there as well. So, um... After that game, again, we get the good news of Lucas Piazon being back. And I was thinking, nice, we can have him in our next game. We're up to ninth at the moment. If we win, we could overtake Blackpool, go into eighth. And obviously, that's a step closer to the promotion places, which is where we want to be. We've still got um, 48 games, 16 games left at this point. So I was thinking, like, you know, it's still a lot of time. We could really put ourselves comfortably in the promotion places. But before that game, as you see in the bottom corner and on the screen now, we had Man United in the FA Cup. I wasn't sure if the win over Villa and QPR was in the FA Cup or whether that was the Carling Cup. I'm not exactly too sure. But obviously, it was a very, very big ass to play Man United, let alone at Old Trafford, when they have brought some quite good signings too. You'll see there, Hummels, one of their new signings. I think they've signed a new midfielder as well actually I don't know if he plays for them or not but nevertheless they didn't hold back on us in the slightest as you see they put a very very strong team out RVP playing as usual in in strike in a very important role and I was really hoping that I could just quell the attacks obviously Rooney RVP they've got Welbeck on the bench and Nandes you know and all these sort of players so I was really hoping I could just hold them back, hold them back, and then maybe if we get a chance, we've got a lot of pace in our team, so maybe we, if we just got in, we'd just be able to just slot one in and hopefully, like, you know, even cut them back or anything just to grab our, ourselves an odd goal. But you'll see there that I don't actually show the team we pull out, so this is the team we pull out. If you want to pause it or whatever, please do. Again, I play quite a lot of young players, but I did put Cox in because I wanted a bit of experience and the quality finishing. So if we did get the odd chance, we would be able to finish it, as maybe with someone like Ben Zeri might not take the chance. But we did have chances, they had more chances obviously they really did dominate us to be honest in the first half but you'll see there Shrewsbury Town and Manchester City are drawing 
see Shrewsbury, the team to beat at the moment. And we did have a lot of possession, as you see there. I did pass it around quite a lot. I didn't try and give the ball away too easy. But it was only really a matter of time, realistically, before they got the goal. They were so good and so brilliant on the ball with passing-wise. And I was trying to cover all ends. And in the end, there was just two minutes to go through. You see there, I think... Carrick puts the ball into RVP, who obviously finishes that. And then once one had gone in, it was just damage limitation, really. And you'll see in a second that they do go on to grab another, which is very disappointing. Because like I said, I did feel that we did maintain a lot of possession in the first half. And I thought it was a bit harsh to have to uh, go down, especially with a goal like that. Butnam possibly should have done a bit better there. But 2-0 against Man United, I wasn't I wasn't too disappointed. I sort of saw it coming. The game against Villa was the sort of game where I thought, oh, like, you know, I push my luck or anything but Man United you know they're going to win they also go through here with Valencia finishes that yet again brilliantly but we do have a last chance and it was probably our best chance of the game forcing that absolute brilliant save from De Gea um, you'll see here it was with Cox straight off the back of the their goal on the 90th minute we run down Cox gets the ball he has shot and that would have been a really really good goal if that could have gone in only inches over the bar but nevertheless guys wasn't too bothered about that give the players a bit of experience get a bit of running time out to them get the the chance to rest people as well and with that we went in the game against Cardiff now obviously we had played quite a lot of our young players so a lot of them couldn't feature in this game a lot of people was also um, unfit you see Guediora there was unfit I think um, Anderson was another um, so we did make quite a few changes going into this game which is brilliant really saying how much squad depth we have now got um before we made the transfers in transfer like window, obviously we didn't have a lot of depth in the team, so we was sort of struggling a bit in these sort of situations where we'd play the game like a day or two before and then players wasn't fit or anything. But at this point, it's absolutely brilliant because not only have I got a really good team to put out, but I also know that if I put one person on, that they're going to improve. If I put another person on, they're going to improve. And we've got actually a really good team. The only thing I'd like to change is I'd like to offload a bit of the dead wood still. We've still got quite a bit. Fortunately, not a lot of players sold in... January is our fourth hour. But I was assessing the team and I think we've got like five, six good centre back, twelve good midfielders and three good strikers. Um so I'm not sure really where I want to aim to buy players because I do think we've got quite a good lot of depth. Maybe just improve the odd position like Majewski I'm not too happy with and possibly win um somebody like that. But um and maybe a striker, but that's gonna be in the transfer window in the summer so that's a long way away but like I said very happy with the signs that we have at the moment but as you see here guys that one of our signs from before January Quintero gets the ball off the free kick and scores the, the computer just can't seem to defend them sort of free kicks where you pass it off I don't know why they just never seem to run out and block it or anything so I, I always find them really good to do against the computer and if you do play career mode or just generally against the computer and you want to score off a free kick I'd really recommend doing that not from like miles out because unless you've got a good free kick tag it ain't gonna work but um, we got a free kick which got us our first goal you see here that we get our second goal off penalty um thanks for watching this episode guys i really do appreciate it please do check out the channel subscribe if you have not the place on the channel got all my videos and plus i've obviously got a lot of other videos so please do check them out please share the video tell people about the channel help it to grow that would be absolutely brilliant if you could. I'm really enjoying doing this series and these episodes. I've got quite a few recorded and they will be coming up very, very quickly. Expect the next episode in two, two days, guys, as per usual. I might even start uploading them every single day if I start getting increased views from what I've got. I'm hoping to get 100 views per episode, so please do help me. Thanks for watching. Anyway, guys, peace.